holla, 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 y'all. They say I ain't got long, so I got to talk fast. Let me just say this. I am so honored to welcome the President of the United States to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I am so honored to serve y'all, the people in the 4th Congressional District. Let me tell you, I serve on the Ways and Means Committee, uh, where we collect taxes, where we do Social Security. Uh, you get my point. And I've had a chance in these last two terms to serve in a very historic time in America with Joe Biden. I just want to remind y'all really quickly in my short time about where we were four years ago. Y'all remember that? Because sometimes people seem to forget. Y'all, it was COVID. This president rescued us. People were getting evicted. They were losing their homes. They were maxing out their credit cards to survive. Businesses were unable to pay employees. And our essential workers were working even under the threat of death and losing their lives. Remember those supply chain uh, disruptions out of cola when you couldn't get that car park for three months? Well, we invented the chip and we're going to start making chips here again because of this President Joe Biden. Let me just tell you something. I ain't got long, but I tell you, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene were complaining that Joe Biden reminded them of FDR because of the way he dealt with Social Security, reminded him of LBJ because of Medicare and Medicaid that, that LBJ put in place, and Joe Biden expanded on that by negotiating prescription drugs, especially insulin, for only $35 a month. We cut childhood poverty in half. Ooh, it was such a good feeling with the child tax credit and provided subsidies every single month to people, and Joe Biden is going to center that in the next term. We had child care subsidies. Come on, y'all. I'm just reminding y'all. Student loan forgiveness, don't be mad if you didn't get it. It wasn't because Joe didn't try, but I'm going to tell you this. There was a whole lot of people that had those predatory loans from universities like Trump University forgiven y'all because of Joe Biden, despite Republican opposition. And let me tell you, some of them might have said that Joe Biden reminded them of Eisenhower if Eisenhower had been a Democrat. Because the greatest infrastructure projects since Eisenhower have occurred under Joe Biden. And I am so happy today that he is here to announce this initiative. You know, I'm old enough to have gone to church on 5th and Galena and be able to walk there from my house on 11th and Highland. Can't do that now because of the Park West Freeway and the destruction of our community and our sense of our community and being together. All oh, that's going to change with this announcement today, y'all.